Henry Diltz talks about the people that he's photographed that have become good friends, like the guys in America, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and photographing a very young Michael Jackson. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Not a lot of folks can say they photographed Michael Jackson. He was just a little kid. And of course he was, you probably guessed it, very quiet. Also, I asked Henry Diltz, who took all the pictures behind me, and you'll see a lot of them in this clip, about the musicians that became friends through the years. Well, I had a period of time of working uh, for Teeny Bopper magazines. One of Tiger Beat called me to take pictures of uh, of the monkeys. Right. And I went down to the, the set where they were filming their TV show and, and made friends with them the first day. Because I was like their age, I had long hair, loved beats. Pr prior to that, they were all kind of older guys that worked for the AP, you know what I mean? Professional, older guys, photographers, they'd say, okay boys, do something zany, you know? <laughs> and they hated that. And so I came along, I was just like them, I could hang out and, and not disturb anything, and just go along with the flow and, and, and take all these candid photos. So that, then it was the Osmond brothers, and then it was uh, the, the Jackson Five, and eventually it was uh, David Cassidy and the Partridge family. But so, yes, for the same Teeny Bopper magazines, I did a few shoots of the Jackson Five, a couple of concerts. I think I went to their father's home one time and photographed them, and I kind of knew them. And the brothers were real friendly and talkative and laughed, you know, and told jokes, and you can hang out. Michael was always just very quiet, yeah. very quiet, very polite, very quiet. Then one day, my phone rang in my kitchen in Laurel Canyon, and it was Rolling Stone in New York. They said, what are you doing right now? You know, uh, nothing. Could you go right down to Motown Records' office? The Jackson Five are in there signing, you know, answering fan mail. Right. And we need a nice portrait of, of Dave, of the, Mike, we need a nice portrait of Michael to put on the cover. So I went down there, joked with the brothers. We had a, and Michael sitting there very quietly. And I said, Michael, I have to take a few photos. Yeah, that's fine, you know. And I did, just sat there one on one with him and took a few photos. I remember he had a lighter. He was fascinated with the flame. I took that. And he's just sitting there looking around. And I'm, we don't have a conversation, you yeah. know. That's going on over there across the room. The brothers are laughing and carrying on, and I'm just sitting here with Michael for a few minutes. Michael, just you know, I'll just take a few shots of you, and that became the cover of of Rolling Stone. Has there been someone that you filmed that that has become a lifelong friend that you that you just clicked with? Oh yeah, um, well, certainly Crosby, Stills, Nash for sure. Those guys I've known all my life, you know, individually and as a group. Um, <clears throat> but I would have to say America. I see America right over your, your ear there in the back wall. I yeah, they back. autographed it for me. Yeah. Uh, oh. I love Jerry. Jerry and I, uh, I don't, I, it's, it's seldom when I interview someone and I like a man so much. Jerry Beckley, I love that man. Yeah, me too. I could say he's one of my absolute best friends. And Dewey. Uh, Dewey and I were close at first. Um, we were just pals right off the bat. It took a little longer to get to know Jerry, and eventually Dewey kind of moved away, and Jerry lived right in North Hollywood where I live. And over the years, we I mean, we send emails almost every day. He sends me photos from the road. He takes photos and sends them, and yeah, I talk to him like all the time. So they're probably my best friends in the music business right now. I had a girlfriend once look at Jerry Beckley and say, that's the most beautiful creature God ever made. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, he wasn't. I mean, he still is. I mean, he still looks. Anyway, when he had the long hair, I know you did the you did the Hearts album, right? I did. I did five or six of their albums. Was yeah. that the goal? It was Hearts the one in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. Was that the one? No. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, it was. I believe it was. Yeah. I, I, I remember I took pictures of them with fencing outfits with hearts on them, but that wasn't the album cover. I believe that was that one. Yeah. If you want to buy one of Henry's prints. There'll be links in the description of this video. One of the most renowned rock and roll photographers of all time. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.